show to showcase. So, as you all know, uh, these guys have been practicing and performing improv for the past eight, nine weeks, and they are going to be doing improv games for you up here. And what that means is they are going to be relying on you for suggestions. So, round of applause. How many of you have seen improv comedy before? Oh, Merry Christmas! Oh, uh, happy Hanukkah! 
Rebecca, everyone. <laughs> it's Valentine's Day. It's been a lovely holiday. I brought candy for all of you, but little candy hearts. This is a Valentine's Day party, right? Well, you got something right, sort of. You know, instead of the 14th, it's something about the 13th, I think. That, that sounds about right. Uh, man, I got a lot of these candy hearts. Uh, my favorite flavor is the pink ones. I mean, my favorite flavor are the white ones. These things taste like garbage. I need to give them away. If you guys don't want them, what am I going to do with them? Quit paying me to eat those, Santa. Uh, well, I guess then, uh, what about the, the kid who's bar mitzvah this? He probably wants them, I bet. Oh, sure, we can give him plenty of candy. We can... Oh, yeah, we should give him some poison. Uh, yeah, we should give him a cruise to uh, Santa Monica. Uh, we should uh, put him at home in the, in the cave in the basement. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> All of these actors up here have studied at Juilliard, and they are wonderful professional actors as well. And so, in the course of this next season, three of them are going to be improvising, but one of them is going to be taking their lines of dialogue from this Tom Stoppard play. So, uh, if you could, ma'am, could you just open up to any old page in this Tom Stoppard play, and we will start. Excellent. All right. Now, uh, one of my actors is going to, Jamie, is going to be taking her lines of dialogue from this play. Now, to get their scene started, could I get a suggestion of an activity that a group of people could do together, like washing a car, setting up a tent? Go to a funeral. I'm going to take bowling. They are bowling. Are they dry enough? Oh, honey, you know how your hands sweat all over the place when you're bowling. Golfing too, but when I'm bowling, they start to crinkly crack. I know, they're crinkly and crack. Maybe you need lotion then. He's on the committee. Oh, I know. This man, oh, he, he's on every committee there is. That's why I mentioned golfing earlier. He's on the golfing committee. He's on the bowling committee. He's on the sewing and knitting committee. <laughs> I have no time left to live my life. Oh, you poor dear, my poor dear. The committee. What's the left of it? People have got bored with Brody. People got bored with anything after two or three years. The campaign needs... Oh, you know what, Stacy? You're right, the campaign needs to say... <coughs> bowling for Christmas and Hanukkah. Bowling for Christmas and Hanukkah. Yes, I think so. And you know, because you are in charge of the whole, you know, association in our neighborhood, I think, Stacy, that you'd be good at it. Stacy, you'd be the best at it. She would. I nominate Stacy. I nominate second nomination. <laughs> you arrogant bastard! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry I'm late. Well, well, thank God you're here. Oh, we're, we're just discussing the committees right now, Bob. Committees, I know, it's very important. Stacy, I'm so happy to see you. I've lost it now! Oh. Maybe not. It's such a pain. She doesn't like anybody today. It's one of those days for her. Now, Stacy, Bob is part of our association, too, and I believe that Bob should have a say in, 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 in this, this bowling uh, for Christmas and Hanukkah deal. And he's done it on his own. I commit to raising at least two or three dollars. Oh, that's great. You are the man, Bob. Yes, Bob, you are the man. I work hard for you guys. You swear too much. Well, <laughs> 